Have you ever noticed how the Democrats and media will deny that they're pushing far left policies until it becomes undeniable? Then suddenly the narrative becomes, well, yes, we're pushing it. And here's why that's a good thing. Well, strap yourselves in because this latest example is going to send us all to padded rooms. But first, a quick word from this episode's sponsor. Imagine the confidence that comes with a retirement backed by a tangible, proven asset gold, an asset that's not at the mercy of unpredictable market swings. Fend off concerns about economic downturns and let your wealth thrive with the timeless security of precious metals. This month, the first solid quarter ounce gold standard bullion coin ever issued with Charles III's image can be yours with your own qualifying gold IRA or 401k rollover with $50,000 or higher. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments, so call Noble Gold Investments at 877 877- 646-5347 to get started or visit noblegoldinvestments.com that's noblegoldinvestments.com find the link in the description pin comment and if you call make sure to tell them drone tech sent you and remember there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind Okay, so you probably already saw this video from a pride parade over the weekend where the LGBTQ plus whatever mob ghoulishly chants, we're here, we're queer, we're coming for your children. I don't think so. Is it just me or are these people becoming more brazen as they perceive the culture is with them and against us? I can think of maybe one other example of this being the gay man's choir, which literally sung a song about coming for your kids. You think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked? Funny, just this once, you're correct. We'll convert your children. Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, and you will barely notice it. Oh, I don't think so. Which is kind of nuts when you consider homosexual men, especially in the church, are overrepresented in child sex offenses. After this footage started spreading on social media, state media decided to step in for some damage control, and NBC News put out this most insane, in-your-face gaslighting I've ever had the displeasure of reading. And now, I'll share it with you. You might want to sit down. Seriously, the coming for your children chant has been used for years at Pride events. So what, they've been pedophiles for years? According to longtime March attendees and gay rights activists who said it's one of many provocative expressions used to regain control of slurs against LGBTQ people. That is one big pile of shit. What slur would that be? Groomers? Well, when you say you're coming from the children, it's not really an argument against it. I wonder if they consider cis a slur or calling us all white supremacists a slur. I guess it's probably different when they do it. But yeah, it's no big deal. It's just a provocative expression and they've been doing it for years. Gee, I wonder if right-wingers are allowed any provocative expression. No, you idiot! But wait, there's more. Over the weekend, a short video circulated widely on social media of an unidentified person at a New York City March during Pride festivities saying, we're coming for your children. But one voice that is heard louder in the crowd is not clear whose or whether the speaker was a member of the LGBT community is heard saying at least twice, we're here, we're queer, we're coming for your children. Fire! All right, they're already lying. It was literally a crowd of people marching and making this chant. But to Brian Griffin, the original organizer of the DNC Drag March, if that's the worst they've heard, it's only because he wasn't there this year. I am Jack's complete lack of surprise. Griffin said he chanted obscene things in the past like, kill, 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 we're coming to kill the mayor, and joked about pubic hair and sex toys during marches. People at Drag March regularly sing, God is a lesbian. It's all just words, Griffin said. It's all presented to fulfill their worst stereotypes of us. It's all just words. 
brilliant. Sure, groomer's just a word too. But for some reason, it's outrageous to call gay men who want to perform drag shows for kids and teach them about adult sex apps groomers. I mean, it's not like they're encouraging young boys to perform sexualized dances for groups of gay men at gay sex app events held at gay strip clubs. Oh my God! God. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, they can demonize you with all the labels that they choose. All right, folks, I got to go check myself into the loony bin. But if you enjoyed this, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to vent some of those frustrations I know you're all having right now. Thanks a lot for watching. See you on the next one.